Hi friends, welcome to 30 inks in 30 days, day 20. Let's start off looking at day 19, which was Krishna bamboo shoots. Um, here is that dried splat. And it looks like I forgot to glue down the uh, chromatography, so we'll do that. Um, I didn't love this experience. This was a very dry ink, and on the paper that I'm doing my, um, the bulk of my writing on, it just wasn't the best. Um, it was okay, it was better on some other papers, so at least it had that going for it. It's a really neat looking ink, although, um, this reddish color did not come out in the writing in my Lamy Vista, which is what I was using. But that's yesterday. Let's move on to today's business, which is to pick a new ink. So we'll do some fun stuff here. Let's see. got a 12. Oh, I hope I actually still have this ink because it's beautiful and I like the idea of it. Um, we're staying in the family if I have this ink. Uh, there, part of me thinks I may have like put it in a package to send to a friend, but maybe not. Krishna Golden Summer Blue is the lucky ink that we picked. Let's see if I can find it in my box of stuff. Uh, I'll pause, let you know. Good news, I do still have it. And we need a pin. Let's uh, take a look. My pin case is becoming emptier and emptier. Um, I feel like this could be good in a thinner a thinner, smaller nib. Um, what do we think? How fine do we want to go? <sighs> this pen scares me. You know, like, but, but let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. We have my Karis Customs Fountain K. Let's go. Let's go. Can't be scared forever. It scares me because we had that potential mold incident um ooh, God, look at that this ink is thick I don't really want to shove this, especially given what happened with this pen. Yeah, we're going to play it extra cool. It's a good idea, Maria. You can be cautious and syringe fill the converter. Okay, um, so today 
Uh, I'm excited because I am going to do a, my current plan is to do a cooking stream, which I haven't done in a little while, to make Maltese pasta, as we always called it growing up. I think it's potentially the same dish as, apologies on pronunciation, Imkarun al forn, il forn, excuse me. Um, but we call them Maltese pasta. And it is a dish kind of similar to baked ziti, though baked ziti is uh, an American dish. Well, it's, it's my favorite, favorite thing that happens when I start to fill converters, which is that they take a little while to write. So that's exciting. Um, anyway, it's a baked pasta dish. My mom is convinced that my grandma put cheese. The rest of the family contends no. It was not my mom's relative, but my mom did like cook at her elbow, so to speak. So I'm not sure. I bought cheese. I'm going to try it with cheese. Because why not? Okay. Let's get this chromatography going. Anyway, it's um, uses ZD or masticcioli or penny or rigatoni and ground beef, a little bit of tomato paste and egg. The ink got in the water for sure, which is always bad, but whatever. It doesn't matter, life goes on. So we have 30 inks, 30 days, um, November 2022, day 20, uh, ink is Krishna Golden Summer Blue. Pin is Kara's Customs, Fountain K, and this has got to be a fine nib. It could possibly be extra fine. You can see the water is colored because the ink got into it. Here's the chromatography. It looks like a single color, but a lot of it. <laughs> and I'm going to do these fun things. Pushed down really hard there, didn't I? It's better. Um, I think this is an odd nib size. I think it's like 076. Let me check. Because if it'll fit a five, I'm replacing this. Now, it's golden summer, summer, summer time. some splats to just sit back in and unwind and play with some ink did you see what happened like amazing
like bubbles went out on that page. I think my friend said that he saw like one splat shooting another. Tell said that. I told him he might need help. <laughs> This is kind of fun. This one doesn't want to move very much. Should we try? I'll try a little more. It looks thick. Thick. That's fine. It's doing what it wants to do. It's living its best life. In the golden summer. Blue. So... Here we are for day 20. I'll let you know tomorrow if I end up changing the nib in this. But like I said, I think it is an odd size. I could be mistaking it with something else. It does have a funky feed. At any rate, I'm looking forward to this. Um, I'm gonna get ahead in my little book copying project. Um, I will get far more than a page per page with such a fine nib. So we're going to look on the bright side of life. Um, I hope you are having a wonderful day whenever you're seeing this. Oh, it got on there. Dagnabbit. It's okay. It's okay, Marianne. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye.